Welcome to Turning Tuesday. This week is the third and final installment of the bulk prep series, getting the barrels scuffed up and glued in place. I'll go over a few things that went wrong and the reasons why I do some things the way I do them. Starting off strong, I am sanding off the shiny finish on these brass barrels. It's less about creating grooves and more about just getting rid of that shiny finish because the shine really doesn't adhere to any glue or epoxy. I started this strong with the first one I tried to glue getting absolutely stuck. So I spent about five minutes trying to get this down in place and I was quite embarrassed, but here I am in real time wrestling with it. As you can expect, I was not too pleased with myself. So I'm having a little wrestle here and trying to figure out how I'm going to get this down. Let's try a wonky off cut. Nope. Well, what's the uh, definition of insanity? Trying the same thing over and over? Alright, let's use the big man weight and put some power down into it. Still no go. Here we go. Let's put some real strength down into it and still no. Moving on. So what I do here is I put a heap of glue on. I go in one end, I give it some twists, insert in and out, and then I go in from behind. I turn the blank around and I insert it from the other end. Ensuring that I get nice coverage of the glue throughout. When I first started doing pens, I was putting the barrels in with epoxy. I no longer do that. Um, I've switched over to Gorilla Glue. The reason I use Gorilla Glue is it expands in the gap. So if I've cut a hole a little too big, it will actually soak in a bit better and will get better grip because it expands and locks it in. So if I've got a couple of purple heart, so these are the barrels for the lidded pens that I do, the fountain pen and the roller ball. They are the JB style pen. Just working on a little piece of Tasmanian oak there with a beautiful sap inclusion. While we're just buzzing through these, I might like to reach out and say thank you to everyone who's been watching my content lately. I really do appreciate it. I am watching and I really do appreciate comments. So if you do have any feedback or want to see anything specific, then please leave a comment or send me an email. I'm more than happy to feature some content and cover anything that you might be interested in. I'm really interested in those pens with the black line up there. They were an offcut from a joinery and I've got no idea what type of wood it is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. These are the finished blanks there. I'm really excited to turn some of those. Some of them have already been turned and one of them was featured in a video a couple of weeks back that got two and a half thousand views. These barrels that I'm working on now are the 7mm, which I'll be doing as the broad style pens. They will have an Australian band around the center as well as Australia clip. There's some beautiful myrtle in there. I've got a piece of pearl, and a silky oak, and some red gum. Those are going to be some absolutely beautiful pens. Now we're moving into the bolt action pens. So 
two of these have already been made. They will be next week's video. That video will be called Two Pens, One Mandrel. I'm still not entirely sure how that one with the sap inclusion there in the middle of the screen is going to come out because those sap inclusions are right on the edge of the barrel so I don't know if it's going to survive. Or well, the glue may have seeped out into those and absolutely ruined the colour. We'll find out soon. While I was doing these glue up, it was about 1am in the morning. Couldn't sleep, so I'm out in the shed being as quiet as I could. And yes, that includes whacking a piece of wood with another piece of wood. I did get yelled at for that. Worth it. So I transferred the other pens onto that chopping board. That arch is actually from a push stick that I made for the table saw. Now I'm just scuffing up the final series of pens and these are the Elegant Beauty. All of the wood on the Elegant Beauty I try to use 100% Australian hardwood. Some of the wood I cut down myself. I'm very excited to see how these come out. Once again, just scuffing them up and getting rid of that shiny, almost plasticky layer that the glue doesn't adhere very well to. And again, I'm going in from one end and then I finish inserting the barrel from the other. cut down to real time while I have a look at this piece because I decided that once I'd put it in I would rub my finger with glue all over it to see what the actual colour of the sassafras is going to come out like. If you're enjoying this content or would like to see more then please like and subscribe. As you can see that beautiful white wood has now taken a yellow hue and the black is becoming very dominant. And buzzing back into it and finishing up. If you are enjoying this content please leave me a comment because I'd really like to reach more people and share what I've been making. Thank you very much and have a great week.